Whether you're just starting your adoption journey or already have your eye on the perfect candidate, we're so excited that you're considering adopting from Dallas Animal Services. This tutorial is intended to show you our new adoption process step-by-step step and from start to finish. To get started, you'll just want to go ahead and navigate to our website, www.dallasanimalservices.org. Our website has lots of great resources and information, so we definitely encourage you to explore and get to know us. When you're ready to search for a DAS pet, you'll hover over Adopt a Pet, then click on the Search Adoptable Pets from the expanded options. This will take you to our main adoption page. Scroll down and you'll find that our available pets pop right up for you to browse. If you already have an idea of what kind of pet is the best fit for your household, you can use the available filters to narrow down your search. For example, you can see which pets are in the shelter versus which pets are in foster, choose to look at only cats or dogs, or even narrow by gender, age, and size. Dallas Animal Services has a variety of wonderful pets looking for their forever homes, so if you don't see your perfect match right away, just click Load More to load additional pets. Is a pet catching your eye? Great! Just click on their profile picture, and a new tab will open with more detailed information about that pet. From here, you can enlarge any photos to see better, see the adoption fee, read pet bios for longer stay pets, and find other helpful information such as gender and age. Let's say that I'm thinking Zooks looks like he could be a really great match for me. I'm going to go ahead and click Apply to Adopt so that I can turn in an application. You'll be prompted to either log in or sign up for an account with Out of Pets. This is my first time doing this process, so I'm going to go ahead and click Sign Up to create an account and then follow the prompts. Now that I've created my account, I'm ready to start the adoption application for Zooks. The application is a simple questionnaire and asks for information such as the ages of the members of your household, how many other pets live in the household, and other information that will help DAS adoption counselors match adopters to the best DAS pet for their family and lifestyle. Once you've completed your application, you'll see this screen along with a pending status. This means that the application was successfully submitted, and I'm now just waiting for an adoption counselor to start the review process. There will also be a confirmation email sent to your inbox that looks like this one. At this time, no additional steps are needed. Just a quick note here, if the pet that you've applied for is currently in a foster home, the process for you is going to look just a little different from that in this video, as our foster team and the foster parent will be reaching out to complete the adoption process with you. Once an adoption counselor has started the review process with your application, you'll receive another email that looks like this one. This email is prompting me to go ahead and schedule a phone call with a counselor who is reviewing the application so that we can discuss any questions I may have, and assuming Zooks is a great match for me, go ahead and fully process the adoption. So I'm going to go ahead and click the link in the email to set up that time. The link will take you to a list of available times for appointments, and you can choose whatever works best for you. Keep in mind, you'll need to access your email during the call, and be ready to set aside about 25 minutes to process the adoption. I'm pretty excited, so I'm going to keep the ball rolling and choose the soonest available time for today at 2.50 p.m. Once you've submitted your appointment request, you'll receive an email confirming your time and date. Now it's just time to sit back and be excited until the adoption counselor calls. Maybe even do a little online window shopping for doggy beds. When the phone rings at your appointment time, it'll be the adoption counselor ready to answer any questions you have and help you decide whether the pet you're interested in is the perfect match. Once you've decided, the matchmaker will send you another email that looks like this one with a link that will prompt you to sign the official adoption contract. Go ahead and read through the adoption contract and be sure to let the adoption counselor know if you have any questions. Once you've done that, go ahead and provide your e-signature at the bottom. The next page will be for processing any fees associated with your adoption. You can also choose to leave a donation that will go toward helping other DAS pets. In this case, Zux does not have an adoption fee, and for the sake of our tutorial video, we'll skip over processing a donation. Let's go ahead and click Confirm Adoption. When you see the confetti, you've just become the proud new owner of a DAS fur baby. Before your phone call ends, the adoption counselor will arrange a time for you to come to the shelter and pick up your new pet. Once your phone call wraps up, you'll have two new confirmation emails, one for your finalized adoption and the other for your scheduled pickup appointment. 
instructions and the next steps for the appointment to pick up will be included in the email, so please look that over to ensure that the curbside pickup is a breeze and you have all necessary items such as your personal protective equipment and your ID or driver's license. We have so many amazing pets here at DAS, and some of our favorite things in the world are the smiles, tail wags, and wiggles when they find their forever family. Congratulations on your adoption journey, and thank you so much for choosing to adopt from DAS.